Hello and welcome to episode number 11 of Art with Mr. Borja. I am Mr. Borja. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you artists that sent in your artwork from previous episodes. It's really cool to see all the creativity coming out of you all and I really love showcasing it for the rest of the world to see. Here's a look at some of the artists' work that they sent in from previous episodes. Let's check it out. You already know what to do. If you want to showcase your artwork on next week's episode, you can send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at artwithmrborja. You can tag your artwork with the hashtag artwithmrborja. That works too. Now, I do need to say one thing about this week's episode. Uh, I know I tell you all the time, it's okay, just keep going. If you get tired, you can take a break. Absolutely take a break. So, in this week's episode, you're going to see that I had to take a little break and there was a helper that ended up helping me with the artwork. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go over our art rules first. Rule number one, respect each other and materials. Rule number two, come prepared to work. And again, if you need to take a break, it's okay, you can take a break. Rule number three is be creative and use your imagination. There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to art. And last but not least, rule number four is clean up all materials. Everything you use, you are responsible for cleaning up. Let's get started. Alrighty folks, I'm going to use one of these permanent markers because it's easier for you to see on the screen. If you have a pencil, I'd encourage you to use that because it's easier to erase pencil than it is a marker. Alrighty, for this ore fish that we're going to draw, what you're going to do first is you're going to start off on this side. And it's gonna snake around like that. And it's similar to the octopus because it's gonna take up a lot of the paper. It's just going to be one long shape. All right, the first line we're gonna use is a curved line like that. Then you're gonna draw another curved line going down and another one going up like this. Then you draw this curved line like that. That is the mouth of the oarfish. Then you're gonna draw a wavy line like this. And I'm gonna draw a line going from here all the way across and curved up like that. And we're gonna do the same for the top part. And it's gonna to connect to this little part right here. So go up and connect it as much as you can to that part. Now we're gonna draw another line on top of this one. It's going to it's gonna look a little bit parallel to this line. However, it's gonna to connect to this side and this end over here. Like this. Like that. So 
So the oarfish has these things right up here on top of its head that kind of come out like this. Kind of like antenna. Not really. Or I really don't know what they are because I don't know a whole lot about the oarfish. You can like them like this. Now the next part. You're going to pretend that it's going to look like an S shape. So you need the other part of the body like that. So if you start it from here. And then you're going to do the same kind of shape like this, but except going on this side, then go up. I'll show you right now. Goes like this. And it goes up like that. Here, going to go up and connect that part over here like that. To make this a little bit longer like that. Like this part. Goes like that. Kind of made a mistake on this side, but that's okay. That's why if you're using a pencil, it's be it would be easier. That's all right though. I'm not gonna let it ruin my time doing art. For the last part, I'm going to draw other part like that. I'll bring it to a point. This part of the tail is going to be like this. It connects like that. But then we need the last part. So it still kind of looks like an S. It's going to look like that. I connect it. Like that. So now I need the big old eye right here. And you can add a little shimmer like this. Color in the black part. Like that. Then you can add some little lines around the eye. Add a little squiggle line like that. It has a fin over here on this side. Like that. Now on the bottom it has these two kind of looking antennas or they're oars because it looked like the oars of a of a rowboat that's why they get their name or fish like that now we can add the details to it Bye. I'm gonna add some oval lines like that, or ovals, all throughout the body. Like that. Now, I know I said that hopefully this one wasn't going to be 
a challenge, but if it is, that's all right. Just give it a shot. I think I might be done with the ore fish. Now I'm ready for coloring. And I did learn, I did do some research and I learned that this part of the ore fish, the top part, is red. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to color that red. And the other part of it, it's like a bluish color. So I'll probably do that. One of the awesome things I learned about the orfish as well is that they live way, way, way deep in the ocean and they hardly come up to the surface. So I want to draw the ocean that it's living in in a really, really dark color. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my markers. And artists, if you have anybody at home who's doing art with you and you only have one set of markers, please share your markers. That's something that good artists do. So this one is pretty quick to draw. So that means I'd like us to take our time with coloring our ore fish. Let me start off with this part here. And I think I'll do straight lines or parallel lines. And I might keep them the same direction. Nah, let's, let's go ahead and change it up. I like changing up the plan every so often. These will go this way, like that. So now I'm going to do the same for the top part of the oarfish. I hope you've been having a wonderful day. Hope you've had a chance to go outside today. It looks like a nice day out here in San Diego. Hope you've had a chance to do some chores around the house. Like do some laundry, washing dishes, sweep the floor, vacuuming if you have carpets. You know, all that good stuff to help out the family. Alrighty. Oops. And the goal with the lines here is so that they don't touch, but if they do, not a big deal. I like the way it looks. And even though I know it's gonna take a really long time, I'm gonna use the, the little technique that I've been doing for the ocean. I'm gonna keep using that one because it looks really cool. So, I've been hearing a lot of questions about whether or not I'm going to continue this art lesson or these art lessons throughout the summer as well. And the answer to that is, yeah, I will actually have a little bit extra time. So hopefully I can do two art lessons a week. That way you get some more opportunities to do art. I know that this is something I really love doing and I want to continue to do it as much as I can. Alrighty, I'm 
almost finishing up with the top part of the oarfish. Awesome. Cool. Alrighty, folks. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my way. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the, the fin over here. Now, oh yeah, I keep forgetting these little details here. An interesting fact I learned about the oar fish is that some people call them ribbon fish because they kind of look like huge long ribbons. I like the name. I'm going to continue to color those. And I think I'm gonna use the same technique to color the little circle or the ovals that I drew here. I don't know why. I just I think it'll look cool. If you want to color them rainbow colors, that is totally fine. I think it would be cool to see a rainbow color or fish. You can take your time with it. If you want to use a different technique, like coloring in the ovals in a solid color, you totally can. You don't have to do the same thing I'm doing. In fact, I encourage you to do something totally different. There is no right or wrong answer in art. I love seeing all the creativity from all of you artists. Cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and color the eye yellow. If you're using a marker, you need to be very careful to not color over the black lines because then that, that will kind of ruin your yellow marker. So just be careful. Take your time with that. Just like that. Now I wanted to color the body of this oarfish blue. And I think I'm gonna use the pointillism technique with just a bunch of dots. Yeah, now they're a little light blue, so I'm gonna separate the dots out a little bit more so that I get the light blue color. Like that. The cool thing I learned about oarfish, about oarfishes, I think I'm saying that right, is that they can get up to 56 feet long. That is ridiculously huge. Alrighty friends, to show you exactly how ridiculously long 56 feet is, I'm gonna need some help from some friends, okay? So you're gonna pretend that this is real life and that I'm not here. So what 56 feet looks like is not only one car, Not only two cars, not three cars, but about four cars. So that means if you were to take the oarfish and stretch it out, it can grow to be four car lengths long. I don't know about you, but that is ridiculous. That is very long, so yeah, that's pretty cool.
Don't know how they got to be that big or that long, but I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this here. And again, if you want it to be super light blue, just separate your dots out a little bit more. If you want it to be even darker, keep your dots a little bit closer to each other. And then you'll see that it's starting to look a little bit darker than, than the one that I have here. It's totally up to you. If you want to use a different color, you could totally use a different color. That works as well. Just keep adding all these dots. Like that. See how it's starting to look a little bit lighter blue? It doesn't look white. It just looks a little bit blue. It's gonna take a while to do the whole or fish, but that's okay. I got plenty of time right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take my time and I hope you are as well. I had a good friend ask me, aren't your drawings just a little bit too hard? And I told them, yeah, they kinda are hard. However, I do like challenging all of the artists out, home, out there at home because that's how you're going to get better. In fact, if you make a mistake, that is totally fine. It is not a big deal like I did here. I'm just going to ignore it right now and I'll see what I can do when I get to it. I'm just going to continue to take my time. Another interesting fact that I learned about oarfish are that they don't have any teeth. So they they look kind of scary. However, they don't have any teeth. So there's nothing really to be worried about. All right, I'm going to continue to do this section and I will see you in a little bit. Alrighty, folks, as you can see, I finished the oarfish. Um... It took me a while, but that's all right. I just kept on coloring. Now it's time for me to color in the ocean. Uh, because oarfish live way, way deep in the ocean, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use um, this color here. Black. And the way I'm going to do the black is going to be lines like this. Wanted to share another fun fact about the oarfish that I learned. <clears throat> they can be or um, they can weigh up to 600 pounds. That's really, really heavy. That's like about two and a half of me. And I'm a pretty heavy dude. Let's see. Remember folks, this technique of using horizontal, not horizontal, parallel lines, um, I want you to take your time with this if you're using hard. There, I say it again. I want you to take your time if you're using parallel lines. The goal is to not have your lines touching. If they do though, it's not a big deal. Just 
Take your time. You don't want to draw the lines over your oar fish. That'll look a little bit silly. Just keep on going. Now, I don't think I'm going to change the directions of the lines because after I'm done with adding all the lines on the background or the ocean, I think I'm gonna add some extra colors so that it looks like it's darker. I'll show you that trick a little bit later. Right now I'm focused on the straight lines, hoping that I get them so that they don't touch. And if you'd like to share your artwork with me and the rest of the world, you can send it on over to happydrawing123 at gmail.com. I can showcase your artwork on next week's episode. If you write a story about your artwork as well, I can share that with the rest of the world. I really love seeing and hearing all of the stories, like Emily and LJ's. They're really fun. I'm trying to be extra careful here because I want to color over the red parts. Making sure that it looks like these lines keep going. Awesome. You can shift your paper over so that it's easier and more comfortable. You don't have to if you don't want to. Alrighty, as you can see, I'm almost finished with the ocean. It didn't take me as long as the oar fish, but I kind of like the way this looks. I feel like I've, I've used this same technique for lots of episodes so far and I kind of like it now I do want to show that I'm running out of ideas for the animals to draw <clears throat> on my episodes here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you all if you have any suggestions, and if you do, you can write any of your suggestions down in the comment section below. I'd like to see some and hear some of your suggestions. All right, so I finished up the ocean with the lines that I wanted to use, but I wanted to make it darker. So I'm going to go ahead and use purple. And just add as many little dots as I can, just to go ahead and darken it up. The reason I'm doing this is because the orifice, again, lives way, way in the bottom of the ocean. Or deep down. I'm not sure if it lives near the ocean floor. I think it just lives super, super deep down. So that's why I want, I want to try to do this a little bit darker so that it looks like it's way down there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now this will probably take a while. And again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you'd rather just color in the ocean a solid black color, that works too. If you would like to color it in a different color, if you want, you can draw your oar fish out in space. That would be cool looking. I'd like to see that. Again, there is no right or wrong answer. I love seeing all the creativity in your artwork. 
Alrighty, folks, I have a little bit of a confession to make. This art piece ended up turning into a collaboration art piece, meaning I got tired of doing the, the, the ocean, so I had to take a little bit of a break. I want to say a huge thank you to my sister Sonia because she decided to help me out and she completed the rest of the ocean. So, huge thank you to Sonia for that. She even signed her initials here. And I'm going to go ahead and put mine as well. Cool. And now we're done with the art or the coloring. Now we're going to go ahead and write about it. Remember, folks, whenever you are writing your sentences, they always start on the left-hand side. And you use a capital letter. So, here we go. This finger space is finger space Orson finger space the finger space. Now I don't have enough room here, so I go to the next line. Or fish. Period. Remember to start your next sentence with a capital letter. He likes to, don't have enough room, swim and you already know what to do. Write as much as you can about your or fish write a whole story and you can share your story with me i'd love to see and hear all of your creativity all right now we're good to go all righty now that we are done with our artwork we have to remember rule number four which is to clean up all materials so please do so remember anything that you used it is your responsibility to pick up. You don't want to just leave your art supplies lying around and then you don't know where they are for the next episode. to go all right folks that's about all the time we have for today i hope you really enjoyed this episode if you would like your artwork to be showcased on next week's episode once again send it on over to happy drawing one two three at gmail.com or you can also follow me on instagram and tag your artwork with at art with mr borja using the hashtag art with mr borja all right if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up you can also share it with anybody else that you think would like to do art and hit that subscribe button to let you know when the next episode comes out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I will see you next time. Happy drawing.